Hi everyone, just a bit of a impromptu video unboxing. Um, just got my stuff through yesterday morning from Calpe. So I thought I'd show you what I got. Right, so I built, got my Prussians, got some, a battalion of Prussians. So I bought several packs. This is the first pack, this is um, pack. P3, I think, Prussians 3, and it's there advancing. So, six different poses. Well, they're all roughly the same, but slightly different. Might get. See, they're all very slightly different. And there's six in a pack for those ones. That's P3. So I've got them, and I've got two packs of them, so that's 12 of them. Then there's the P4, which I've got another two packs of them, which is another 12. But all they are, they're very similar to those ones, but they are, they have slightly different heads on them, which I, I quite like. So he's got like a forage cap on. This one. His head slightly turned, so just makes it slightly more interesting. Another forage cap. This one's bareheaded. It's quite good. So, and another, and this one's this guy got bandage across, so he's quite cool, like him. And what else have we got? We got another guy with a helmet, but he's looking slightly the opposite way. Oh, there we go. So he's looking down the line. So I'd probably put him right on the end of a base. So he's looking down the line. And then I think I've got one more guy in a forage cap. Straighten the banner. Shouting out. So, yeah, I like them. So the next one I got. So I've got two of them and two of P4. So that's going to be 24 figures. That's going to be the majority of my. Infantry, then so that's a big part of them. Then I got P9 from Calpe, which is the officers. So I'm going to take one of these guys, not sure which one. So these come in packs of three. Focus. So I got one, I'm quite tempted with the middle one um, at the moment, but so one of those guys. Not sure which one. I think this. I think the middle one is the one that's taken me fancy. And I got P five, which was the command one, which is basically standard bearer, NCO, and drummer. Which is there's the NCO. There's your drummer, and there's a the standard bearer. Again, nice figures. So they will go with, I'm reckoning, something like that. So that will be the front rank of the first. So yeah, something like that. So I think I'd use him, definitely, because they're obviously in the march attack. They're, they're advancing, so he's urging his boys on. So that will go with the 24 of them. And there's another four, that's 28. So then, I'll have two spare officers for future things that I can mix up with whatever. And then I bought this pack, which is P6. And this is just to add a bit of variation into it. And this is the enthusiastic, they call it the enthusiastic poses. So I'll do one at a time. Right, this is the guy. So this one, I think I'll, all these will probably go in the front ranks. And I put him there and he's probably go on the far right of a, of a stand and he's obviously char yelling to his boys onward so just another variation so um, then we've got this guy again he's just urging the boy his boys on with his hat in the air 
And the final one is this guy with a separate gun holding it something like that, I would suggest. But yeah, all in all, really chuffed. I think they look great figures. Um, I, so obviously you know that I got a bit downhearted with the Prussians that I got from the plastic Prussians. But these, although they are like nearly, nearly three, well, two and a half times the price, I'm tempted. I'm going to do all these up in a battalion, see how I go with them. I, I, I like the look of them already, so to paint they should be really nice. Um, and then we'll go from there. And I think I'll be quite. What I might do to cut the costs, because I've got another black box of plastics, Perry plastics. What I might do is mix and match them a little bit, have some marching poses behind the men advancing type thing, so it creates a bit of depth. And then it also cut the cost down because I must admit, with postage, I can't afford 42 quid for a battalion every time. That would be ridiculously expensive, where it's about 18, 19 quid for a Perry one, so it might be a question of mixing and matching a bit, but I do like him. And he's cool with the bandage. All these ones with slightly different heads, I think, definitely will be in the front rank. Just they got some lovely detail, nice crisp, not a lot of flash, a bit on the legs here and there, but all in all, really good quality. Anyway, there you go. Thought I'd show you what I got for my next project after the guard are finished, which will be hopefully in the next two weeks I'll finish them. And then I might move on to these, see how I get on. But I do have a sort of project, a mini project. I'm going to have a little paint painting challenge going on in the next couple of weeks after I finish my guard. I'm going to do a painting challenge and encourage everyone to have a go as well. Um, paint in a week. Get something painted in a week that you've been putting off and putting off and I've got 16 Prussians to finish a battalion and I've been putting them off, putting them off and I've come up with an idea to paint in a week and just get on with it. Stop fanning around and get on with it. Anyway, enough rambling. See you all soon.